Alright everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in. Today we are going to be exploring the rural areas of South Africa as usual. I'm going to be taking you guys to places where you can buy farming land and homesteading land in rural South Africa. We are in KZN, we are going to be taking this baby with us, it is not mine, it belongs to the husband of my niece and we just borrowed it because of course I flew to KZN and I don't have a car so I had to borrow their car. So guys, Buckle Up is going to be another beautiful video. Good morning from the province of KwaZulu-Natal. Ah, it's so refreshing to wake up in the middle of the forest with so many beautiful trees around you and then you see monkeys doing their naughty business climbing on top of the roofs and just really looking for food around in the area it's such a beautiful morning i'm going to be taking you guys with me we are just going to ride and explore the rural areas here in kwazulu natal especially to show you guys where you can buy land for farming and also for homesteading okay guys we are preparing breakfast and we are going to be on our way my son-in-law is the king of smoothies he mixes everything that is so healthy for all of us to gain strength in the morning so we are just waiting for him to feed us with the smoothies and then we are just going to take a bath and then off we go and i'm going to be taking you guys with me you are going to ride with me explore with me and also learn with me this is going to be another educational video as always if you haven't seen my videos and if you are new on this channel welcome and thank you for tuning in my name is velile i am a lifestyle blogger from south africa well if you're new in here please do not forget to subscribe like share and comment and also make sure that you do give this video a thumbs up liking the video will help so much because youtube will recommend the video to so many other people and will gain more views on this video i will really appreciate that okay guys what i ate for breakfast is just wheat pigs and then the smoothie is right here very well presented and made with passion and love well they say you can take the farm girl out of the farm but you cannot take the farm out of the farm girl we are on the road exploring we baked some beautiful scones and we are taking them on the road with us we are just going to be eating them on the road as we are traveling with you guys we are headed towards peter Marie's back and we are trying to good, really try and hit two beds with one stone and see our relatives so we decided to pass by a butchery and buy some meat so that when we get to Peter Marie's back and see our relatives we bring some meat for them it's always nice to bring something we call it in Isizulu Umgenandlini my niece is right here with me and we have just bought the meat for our relatives and then off we are just going to go we are just really exploring a whole lot of KwaZulu Natal these days we are really enjoying ourselves so we are enjoying all of this with you guys it's going to be a nice and beautiful journey because i am going to be showing you Ashpatin. Ashpatin is one of the rural areas that are just really attracting a lot of black people who are buying farms in this area and i was why not why share this with my people on youtube guys at the butchery the lady was letting everybody taste these sausages so we indulged and we took some and put them in our scuffed so that we can just eat on the road please don't judge us you know it's something that everybody else do when you get into a supermarket and there's a lady that letting everybody taste something you do take something don't you comment down below if you do that I do that a lot when I see people demonstrating and especially if it's something that looks like very nice I always make sure that I taste and then I give my comment on it ladies and gentlemen on the left hand side as we are driving towards uh, Peter Maritz bag you can see ash button over there this is where I'm taking you guys it's sitting right in the middle of the forest and overlooks Umsunduzi River. Area falls under Umsunduzi municipality and it also falls under the district of Umkungundlovo which is the other name for Peter Maritzburg. So guys, I'm going to be taking you there. A lot of black people moved over here after 1994 when we got independence 
and it was so exciting to see people just buying land over here especially buying land not only to build homes but also for farming and also for homesteading and also for self-sufficiency farming it is very interesting to see this going on around here this place is very 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 homey it attracts a lot of people who are into farming that's why i have to take you to this famous Biltong place you do not come to ashpatin and do not pass over here because most people are farmers around here so Biltong is part of the area when you want a very good Biltong and also a variety you come over here it is meat that is dried from meat like this and then it is hanged and then it becomes something just like this everywhere you go in rural south africa you do find biltong shops that are really good so it is just a norm when you see a biltong shop around here it tells you that people are really farmers homesteading is the way to go and farming is what drives the economy boom around in this area everyone who lives in the nearby towns if they are going to slaughter for their own uh, family functions they always come to Ashpatin to buy cows goats sheep and everything and also if you're looking for fresh milk there are farmers here who are selling fresh milk and cheese so it is a go-to place if you are into organic living this is how people are building around here look how much big their properties are I'm going to also take you through online because I noticed that property 24 is also selling a lot of properties from here as I told you guys this area is very predominantly black and then followed by colors and Indians and then also a very small number of white people who probably occupied land before independence and they are still occupying their own farms around in here according to stats online ashpatin has a 2220 population i think those are the numbers of households that are around here look how people are utilizing their plots they build rentals so that they can make income out of their own properties. The weather really changed on us guys. It just became very dark and it started to rain a little bit. I'm sure a whole lot of rain is coming now. Let me show you what are the prices for property here online. You can look through Property24 and you'll see that people are selling land. They are selling their houses they are selling everything so you can buy a house around here if you are from overseas and you are not south african also this is the opportunity for you to buy land or also buy property here i mean it should be cheaper for people who are coming with dollars and pounds what i didn't establish is whether ash button falls under ingonyama trust board which is the board that owns a large amount of land in kwazulu natal which is owned by the his majesty the king of kwazulu natal it was king zolitini now it is king misuzulu of the zulu kingdom i tried to check that online comment down below if you know whether ashpatin falls under the ingonyama trust board well i told you guys you are on an adventure with me exploring rural south africa and the beautiful rural areas of south africa our lifestyle and how we live our life we are now with our relatives and we are cooking a storm uh, we have something going on at my sister's home my sister passed away and we are here to just really prepare for her funeral and i am brewing african beer here uchwala besi zulu and then some other people are cooking pap and we are cooking a storm we went to ashpatin so that we can also buy an already slaughtered cow and we were successful with that i didn't show you guys that i've been showing you guys a lot of dead cows on this channel so i felt like you know what i'm not gonna do that but this is how we are preparing parts of the cows and we are going to be eating all of these these are the feeds of the cow if you do eat this in your own culture whether you are in the diaspora or you are in the continent let me know if you are an african and you cook this and eat it please let me know how you prepare it down below on the comment section this is how we prepare the feet of the cow 
we always make sure that we burn the skin and then scrape it and then we eventually cook it later on put it in the pot and the men usually eat this part of the meat what do you do with the feet of the cow in your culture if you are african comment down below and let me know i hope you guys are enjoying this video please again give this video a thumbs up and also please do share this video comment and also if you are new please do subscribe do not forget to give the video a thumbs up i am now getting ready to go to the airport and i'm going to travel back to johannesburg because work is calling in johannesburg i'm going to keep on giving you beautiful videos as we go along i think i'm going to post another video on thursday instead of wednesday because i posted this one on monday instead of sunday bye bye guys let's go to the airport and please keep on watching the video because there's still more to watch